What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about why we have all these challenges in Black Ops Cold War multiplayer that make you really play Warzone to complete some of them. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the content, hit the like button. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. There was an article today on Charlie Intel that is was very interesting to read because it's been something I've been kind of wondering and, and curious about myself since Black Ops Cold War has been released. Why in the world are there uh, kind of Warzone exclusive operator challenges? You know, why do you have to go in and play Warzone to unlock some of the skins for the operators? I understand the game integration, you know, was brought in, you know, we, we combined operators from Modern Warfare and Cold War. But I'm not sure why there are exclusive Warzone challenges if you're not a fan of Warzone. As you all know, I'm glad that people love Warzone. I'm glad that people have something they enjoy playing. But I'm just not a fan of Warzone. I've never been a big fan of Battle Royale. And with all the issues that uh, Warzone has, it, it's just kind of put a bad taste in my mouth. And I really just do not enjoy playing it. And that's just me personally. Some people may really love playing it, and that's perfectly fine. But I feel if you're going to have something integrated like this, uh, you should not force you know, Warzone players to have to play Black Ops Cold War multiplayer to unlock skins, and you should not have to force Cold War multiplayer fans to play Warzone to unlock certain skins. The same thing can kind of be said for the challenges. If you guys uh, have, have prestiged in, in Black Ops Cold War multiplayer, you'll notice when you start unlocking those certain challenges, some of those challenges that you get are for Warzone. I'm not sure why those are not split up. I'm not sure why it's not multiplayer challenges and Warzone challenges that are separated. I'm not sure why... The Warzone challenges are in with the multiplayer. Hopefully within Season 2, some of this stuff will change or in a future update. Uh, as you remember, we, when we had Modern Warfare, there was a lot of challenges once you started hitting that you know, 155 or kind of getting up to that 155 level. Uh, Cold War does not have as many challenges. They have a lot of operator challenges, which I like. And you know, a lot of players want to go in and get those skins. They are free. You know, It's just you have to work for them. You have to do certain things in-game. It's not something you have to pay for in-store. And I know a lot of players are, are enjoying that. A lot of players like that. But at the same time, I think it's ridiculous that you have to go do things that you don't really care about playing. You know, um, Warzone is a free-to-play game, and I understand that they kind of linked Black Ops Cold War with it. You know, if you want to have the Cold War weapons, you're going to have to go out and buy Black Ops Cold War, that kind of thing. But at the same time, I, I think the challenges really should be separated out. I think... If you're just a, a fan of Warzone, like I said, or Black Ops Cold War, you should not have to go play one or the other to be able to unlock some of these operator challenges, to be able to do some of the challenges for your prestige levels. I'm just not a really big fan of that. Like I said, I have not been doing them because, you know, I'm just not a fan of Warzone, like I said. So I've just been pretty much leaving them alone. But I know there's been a lot of outrage as of late from the community, just in general, talking about why do they have to do these, uh, you know, Warzone-specific uh, camo challenges to get some of these operator skins unlocked. So leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. Kind of let me know what you think about it, and I'll catch you all next time.